as we could see 70 degrees today. That's right. It's amazing. This time of the year, the, the fluctuations we get in these temperatures, it's that shoulder season. You know, we're at the end of beyond summer and now we're moving toward winter, but uh, these in between seasons can have a lot of variability with our weather. You know, every once in a while you get a little bit of burst of uh, maybe September month. I wouldn't call it summer, but uh, something warmer than the seasonal average. Beautiful uh, scene as we look toward uh, Lake Pepin. A little choppier with those waves out there in the Mississippi River. This is our Lewis Donato camera uh, from uh, the pearl of the lake at Lake City and beautiful color in those trees outside right now. Uh, we're looking at uh, some sunshine here in Rochester as we uh, enjoy a blue sky of a gusty south breeze that's helping warm temperatures very quickly dew point 40 which is pretty dry even for this time of the year 66 the temperature air pressure is steady 30.07 inches of mercury gusts out of the south in that 30 mile per hour range this will be the case until about five maybe six o'clock this evening as we uh, have those south winds and all that dry uh, atmosphere and all the warm sunshine all those elements together helping for a quick warm-up we started in the lower 40s today and already we are more than 20 degrees warmer than we were uh, at sunrise. So a big change there. Dodge Center 30 miles per hour, Albert Lee 30, Algona 35. So be prepared for a breezy but warm afternoon. 66 in Rochester, already 70 in Winona at 68 degrees in Charles City, Iowa. Uh, breezy and warmer today. We'll do this again tomorrow. Very similar situation, very similar setup for our Wednesday before that storm system rolls in. Well, rain returning late tomorrow night into Thursday. And over the weekend, mainly rain, but there may be a little snow mixed in as well. The lion share of the snow we're looking at the region is well northwest of us over that weekend but there it is in the weather headlines though at this point high clouds drifting in well in advance the storm system that's coming in out of the pacific northwest really uh, that's going to come out of uh, uh, western canada at this point as it works its way across the area, it'll be some big, uh, big changes to the area. Ahead of it, gusty south winds. We have 60s in Rochester, uh, already 67 in Duluth, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68. Even Minot, a very balmy 68 here at the noon hour. 60s here, even 50s up in Winnipeg, but northwest of us. There's that front, that Arctic boundary behind it. Saskatoon, 32. Just ahead of it, you see Winnipeg's 59, Uranium City, 31. That is a stark uh, contrast, a huge change there, and that's the really cold air that's on its way. We're talking about the low 40s, even upper 30s for highs over the weekend. That's more than 20, maybe 30 degrees from where we'll be today and tomorrow. So we too will feel that massive change. But 60s and low 70s this afternoon, a breezy situation until about sunset. The winds will let up just a little bit. Uh, sunset at 639 this evening. Future cast watching all that balmy sunshine. Uh, looking good looking weather picture today with gusty south winds and blue sky. Just a few extra thin clouds tomorrow as that system gets a bit closer. Otherwise, Wednesday uh, featuring more of that quiet, sunny weather. Daytime highs around 70. Again, here come the showers. But they develop for the west right around the midnight hour. And we'll have periods of rain and maybe some late day thunder as that center of low pressure gets a bit closer. As that then moves on through, we'll have that change over to snow as rain uh, moves in. Temperatures drop throughout the day on Friday. We're looking at the possibility of maybe a coating of snow here locally, uh, a trace amount, grassy accumulation, maybe late Friday and early Saturday, maybe a couple of snow showers as well. But most of it melting as the ground is fairly warm. But look to the west, 12 inches plus with blizzard conditions possible uh, out of the Dakotas. And here's a European model keeping everything pretty much well northwest of us and really not even a trace amount of snow in our area. So it remains to be seen exactly what will happen, but I do think we're going to get little, if any, winter out of this, but maybe winter like wind chills. It's going to be a very windy, cold situation, much colder temperatures than we will experience today, tomorrow, even Thursday uh, as that rain moves in. But still uh, with showers in the area, Thursday will feature some 60s. But today look for highs around 70, gusty south winds, plenty of sunshine with those winds up to 30, 35 miles per hour. Tonight, still fairly breezy, winds around 20, 25 miles per hour, 49, not as chilly as recent nights, and 70 tomorrow, another gusty warm day. The shower chances tomorrow night and Thursday, and then uh, uh, falling temperatures of the day on Friday. We'll start it in the 50s. That'll be in the morning, and then we'll see things remain windy and chilly uh, over the weekend, Jess. Thank you, Ted. When we return, we're